Hello everyone. Uh, in last video, we have seen a lot of interview questions and I hope you have gone through each of them. Today, we are going to see more questions on encapsulation topic. This is very important topic in core Java. So let's directly come to the question. First question here is what is encapsulation? So in this question, you need to tell direct definition like binding of data into a single entity is called as encapsulation. Keep it very simple. Next, how to achieve encapsulation in Java? So there are certain procedures to develop encapsulation in Java like you need to write simple class where some variables will be private and as those variables are private, we cannot access from outside, but variables need to access and that's why there should be some methods to access those variable. Methods can be getters and setters. So this is what the complete process to achieve a encapsulation in Java. Next is why is encapsulation needed? So this is a little descriptive question means they expect descriptive answer in this. Like why is encapsulation needed? So see, look at the scenario. You should be explaining in this way. Let's say there is a car having some speed. So it has one variable. So in that variable, we can add anything. I will uh, I'll show this programmatically. Let's start. Let's say there is one class car and here something int speed. Now guys, just look at this class. Here, this speed can be anything, means anybody can create an object, car c new car, c dot speed. People can add anything, thousand speed. So this is not possible, functionally it's incorrect. Therefore, therefore, we need to protect this variable. And to protect this variable, we have in last question, I have already told you how we can achieve is by making this variable as a private and making getter and setter. So this question is why it is needed. This is very important question for an interviewer. So please be careful while giving answer. So speed is private so that nobody can put anything over there and we can access that speed through a getter and setter. So you should be saying global variables should not be disturbed and to protect that variable we can add validations in the method. So this answer is a little lengthy but you should be explaining it very properly. Next. <clears throat> now the next question. Why do we make global variable private? As I said in last question we make variable private because people can add any value to it and we want to protect that variable. Therefore, we need to make variable as private so that it cannot be accessed directly. It cannot be exposed to outer world. So they cannot add anything to it. We are controlling that variable. We are putting values in that variable through method, as I said in last question. Next, what is the role of setter and getter in encapsulation? Try to understand setter, getter is compulsory. Answer is no, it's not compulsory. But we can have any type of method to do that. But general prototype is getter and setter. So in this question, what is asked? Role of setter and getter means setter and getter are used for setting a value and getting a value from the global variable. Only that answer is not enough. You should be saying if you want to put some validations in setter to control that variable, you can do that. If you want to put some uh, any validation or any decoration to a variable, while retrieving, you can put that into the getter. That would be an enough answer. Just if you are talking about the role of getter and setter in the case of encapsulation. Next question is, if no encapsulation is implemented, what consequences may occur? I already discussed in previous question. This question rephrasing is different. So don't get confused. I already told you the global variables which are getting stored into the object will have wrong values, which will be functionally impacting your applications. Then next question, can you provide an example that illustrate the concept of encapsulation? See, try to understand why interviewer is asking this because they want to know whether you understood concept or not. Let's say there is a capsule, in capsule there is medicine, that is an encapsulation. But this example is very common. Give some hum human body example where inside body there are muscles, ligaments, nerves, blood, everything is bounded. It would, have, it would have been exposed our body would not be like a body or any circuit board their circuits are hidden 
a air uh, refrigerator you might have seen all connections uh, components are inside so binding of a data into a single entity you can see there so these are the real time examples you can uh, tell about our, your project also where you might have some class where let's say maybe customer customer having maybe customer age as a variable so we are implementing encapsulation over there that age can be um, accessed through getter and setter coming to next question Next question is, how does encapsulation contribute to code organization and maintenance? Yes, this maintenance is very, very important because in industry, most of the time, most of the cost, most of the efforts are uh, spent on the maintenance. If your product is good, then maintenance cost will be low. Therefore, always remember, you have to follow standards. Therefore, encapsulation comes in picture. So, encapsulation means Firstly, if you write properly variable as a private, then people will not put value. So, code will be proper organized. There will be no need of maintaining it again and again. If tomorrow you want to change a validation, this point you can add in answer. Tomorrow, if you want to change some validation, you need to put in setter. You, you don't need to deal with the variable. You can have two types of setter for one single variable also if needed, if different validations are there. Coming to next question, guys. In what ways does encapsulation enhance code security? I already discussed with you variable exposing and private. Just remember that. Coming to next question, what are the potential drawbacks of overusing encapsulation in the program? See, if it is not needed, don't use it. Unnecessary, you are protecting your class and people are going through a method. So, performance will be down. Your code will not be optimized. If you know that this variable doesn't need any kind of validation or this variable doesn't need any type of verification then exposed to the world directly there is why java created public try to think if private variables are there then why java created a public it is created just because whenever necessary then you should make that variable as a public default protected don't make always private so that's it guys so we have seen a lot of questions in this series just to show you all once again, so these are the questions. So I want you to refer every question. Um, try communicate as I am communicating to you because these questions are very, very important in a pillar of the object oriented programming. And this is one pillar that is encapsulation. I'll see you in next video with another concept and more, more interview questions on that. Thank you.